Let's travel to the past through these pictures from history. British Mark V tank in Cologne, Germany, 1919. Newly married couple on their wedding day, Germany, 1901. Camping in the early 20th century. A fake rooftop suburb that hit a whole World War II airplane factory underneath, 1944. Refrigerator units keeping blood at desired temperatures at the Battle of Iwo Jima, 1945. Hillary Clinton playing Game Boy in 1993. A man exercises using a rowing machine in the gym aboard the RMS Titanic, 1912. Train passengers listening to the radio through headphones in the dining car of a train, 1930. Marilyn Monroe and her early career posing for Life magazine in 1950. The Italian royal family in 1922. Dutch men in traditional trousers, 19 1900. This is how enemy aircraft were detected before the invention of radars. Three-year-old chimney sweep in 1933. Young lady at a spinning wheel in Ireland, 1905. Diving suit, 1915. The Lily Evening Gown by House of Worth, 1896. Lady in Cavendish, Bentick and the Earl of Feversham at Ascot, 1929. Lana Turner at the Louvre, Paris, 1953. Coal miner's wife and three of their children. Scott's Run, West Virginia, September 1938. Soldier coming home to his daughter after World War II. 1945. A Caddo woman, as photographed in 1906 by George Bancroft Cornish. Schoolroom in the Lower East Side, New York, 1886.
a boy selling lemonade with a portable lemonade dispenser. Berlin, 1931. Woman stomping grapes in Frascati, Italy in 1957. On the beach, France, 1903. To workers cleaning, the eagle ornamentation on Chrysler Building in 1932. Mrs. Charles Benning sweeping the steps of her shack in Shantytown, Spencer, Iowa during the Depression, 1936. U.S. Navy personnel freeing a PB wire, 5 a Catalina aircraft from frozen waters in the Aleutian Islands, Alaska, May 1942, January 1943. Aida D. Acosta flying the airship Baladus in 1903, the first woman to pilot a towered aircraft. The Ten Noses Shop, in extreme cases where no amount of surgery could come close to repairing disfiguring injuries, war survivors, but to a Ten Noses Shop, it was in such a studio where sculptors would construct masks to help veterans get around. 